Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, September 21st. It's the 15th week after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. And today we also celebrate and remember the Apostle Matthew. The scripture for this service, Psalm 74 and Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 10. Now join me please in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. Nations are then before God's throne With solemn fear, with sacred joy Know that our God is God alone Who can create and can destroy O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Hallelujah, Psalm 74. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people, which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns as signs of victory. They have struck like those with axes in a grove of trees. Now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They've set fire to your sanctuary. They've defiled the dwelling place of your name. They have said in their hearts, let us destroy them. And they have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs, there is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom. For you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O God, that the enemy has scorned that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked. Forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish revile you all the day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies, the tumult of those that rise against you continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and then he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth. 
Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.